It continues hot, and obviously uh, that's got all these pressures on communities. Think about those who are living north of the Great Divide. It's been 40 degrees day after day after day, now for days on end, and it continues into the weekend. Um, it's interesting when you think about that. Victoria is only a small state, but here we've got the difference of being in the southern parts in Melbourne, can be in the low 30s, and all of a sudden you look over the Great Divide and you see this heat plus heat plus heat. Obviously what brings that um, is the fact that we've got all of this hot weather coming from Central Australia. It's not going away. The next couple of days will be really interesting. We've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday that are really hot, but on Monday it's going to be hot and windy, which means it's the highest of the fire danger risk um, for this week. Also with that, we talk about it and we continue to talk about it, it brings the southwesterly change. So on Monday afternoon we'll see a change move through Victoria, which will change the wind direction. It'll start to cool the place, but brings the, the potential of elevated fire behaviour if we've got fires running. The best thing we can wish for is that we don't have any fires running. So we rely heavily on the Victorian community not to light fires, not to be the part of any fire ignition. And if a fire does start, that they report it straight away. Fire resources are in a good space. Uh, to get us through February, we've uh, supplemented our teams with people from crews from uh, New Zealand and New South Wales in forest firefighters that are working in East Gippsland. And also we've brought incident management teams in from Queensland and New South Wales to work with us during this really critical period that will go on and on. Although I talk about Monday being the change, the forecast sees that it just heats up behind it, so the heat doesn't go away, so we've still got more heat. So I suppose what it really says is we've got to manage ourselves, we've got to manage our fatigue, we've got to think this through. The heat messaging from Rosemary Lister, the Chief Health Officer, is still strong. Look after yourself, look after your neighbour, look after your family, your friends. Do that bit that's really important about caring for each other. And also, think about fire. Uh, we've got great resources, uh, great people do great things, but think about our firefighters on the back of a truck when it's 46 degrees. It's not the most pleasant, but they do it with ease, they do it with pleasure, and they do it so well. So you've got to say well done to all of our firefighters, career volunteer, whatever agency they're with, it's fantastic. Um, it's a difficult time, but it's a time that uh, if we stick together, understand it, plan it through, think what it means to you, think what it means to your family, we'll get there and we'll get there well. So charge on. Um, I know it's difficult if you're out there day after day in the heat. If you live in Benio Mildura, it's just hot and it's going to continue hot.